Welcome in. I'm Prim Saripapat. Well, from rapper to boxing promoter, that is the situation for Curtis Jackson, better known as 50 Cent, as he got his promoter's license in Nevada. Well, for more on this story, we bring in boxing writer for ESPN.com, Dan Rayfield. Dan, how much of this is a surprise to you? Well, the fact that he got the license today is not a surprise. Once his name was added to the agenda for the Nevada State Athletic Commission, him actually getting the license was not a surprise because once he made it to the agenda part, they had already gone over a lot of the paperwork with the executive director of the commission, Keith Kaiser, and so this was not a surprise. But it, it takes a lot to get a promoter's license in Nevada. You have a lot of things you have to give to them, financial disclosures and that sort of thing. Uh, so he got to the agenda, and then he got the license. It wasn't a surprise. It was unanimous vote by the commission, and uh, now he's uh, got his boxing and promoter's license, and he can begin to put on fights and events in the state of Nevada. How do you think he will do in this role? Well, being a boxing promoter is hard work. There's a lot of details that have to go into it um, as far as the logistics of putting on an event, so you have to have a good team around you. Um, he has uh, an experienced attorney named Leon Margulies, who is a promoter himself and has a company in Florida that's put on plenty of big events over the years and been involved with lots of significant fights, so that's a start. Um, you know, but you have other things you have to deal with. But as far as... The, the true promotional aspect, which is getting the word out, getting people excited, letting people know about your, your product and your events. You know, 50 is a good self-marketer. He's done it in the rap business. He's done it with other businesses he's been involved in and made money and been successful. Got 8 million-something Twitter followers. So he should be able to get the word out. He appeals to a young demographic. So that, that's all good things in his favor to try to be successful in a tough business. Yeah, no question. If you are a fighter, it would be good to be associated with 50 Cent. So who are some, uh, some fighters under contract with him? Well, he promotes Yuri Orkis Gamboa, who's an undefeated former featherweight title holder, won a gold, uh, won a gold medal in the Olympics uh, years ago, um, one of the top fighters in boxing. He is going to be having his first fight with 50 as his promoter on a top rank undercard when Manny Pacquiao fights Juan Manuel Marquez on December 8th. He also promotes uh, and bought the contract of Billy Dibb, who is an Australian fighter who has one of the world featherweight titles. He also has the contract of Andre Durrell, who was an Olympic bronze medalist for the United States in 2004 and is uh, a top super middleweight contender. So he has a stable of those three fighters. Um, perhaps he's going to look to sign some other guys and try to make a go of this thing. Now, he has a relationship with one of the biggest names in the sport, Floyd Mayweather, and, of course, they had a falling out. So do you ever see these two working again? Well, I mean, the, the original incarnation of 50 joining the boxing promotional business was he was going to have a cope promotion, you know, a, a, a a deal to put up, to have a company with Mayweather as his partner it was going to be called TMT Promotions, which is, stands for the Money Team, which is what Mayweather calls you know his group of guys that are around him, and they had big plans for that. That did not work out. Mayweather, who was incarcerated for a couple of months over the summer, came out uh, for whatever reason, decided he didn't want to go forward with the with the uh, endeavor, and so therefore they had some sort of falling out. And now Fifty renamed the company SMS, which is named after his line of uh, of uh, audio headphones, and and he and Mayweather apparently are not together anymore now. Whether they ever get back together or not, who the heck knows. But for the time being, Mayweather is uh, going to still do his own thing, probably look for a fight in the early part of next year, and, and 50 is going to do his thing with his new SMS promotions. We'll talk about building a brand. Curtis Jackson, 50 Cent, certainly knows how to do just that. Dan Raphael, boxing writer for ESPN.com, thanks a lot for joining us today. Thanks. Well, for more on this story, keep it logged on right here at ESPN.com. I'm Prim Saripapat with your latest ESPN headline.